Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Masters of Spanish Comic Book Art. This is written by David Roach and it's from Dynamite. Now this book is 272 pages, came out in 2017 and it contains lots of great artwork by many of these artists and it's it and many more. It's got 80 artists, in depth also on 18 artists, as well as 500 illustrations, black and white in colour all the way through. So the book is super impressive and you can see there, lots of colour in black and white. It is a nice quality book. You can see it's quite a sizable, chunky book. Very, very good quality. Now, let's go through the book itself. There's a forward from David Roach, and it contains initially all about the early days of Spanish artwork, and they're barred in there. As well, a lovely picture up there of Big Ben as well, and two Spanish artists. You've got comics for girls. So you've got though that one, Mirel. When I first saw that, I thought it was Mirabel, but of course it's not. Also, certain you probably quite aware of Patty's World, and that one's apparently Perito Campos. Perito Campos, I should say. Also, you've got Biggie, Lily, and many of these, of course, contain artwork you've probably seen in many UK comics. And you also got Burton, you've got lots of these little magazines and things. Many of these probably didn't turn up in the UK. Maybe some did. Manos Kelly and Bang Trucker. I have no idea where that's from. It says Trucker number two. Also, you've got Europe and Beyond. And you've got lots of these great pages here as well. Some great sort of brilliant inked pages. I love that sort of stuff. Also, the artist gallery. So you've got an intro all the way page 42. And it's 270 odd pages. So this book, you've got a nice little introduction, 40 odd pages of that. And then into the gallery. So you've got artist gallery and it's just lots of great artwork all the way through. Now, of course, this is not as big as the original pages, but still very impressive. And you can see there, Marvel preview, that one. That was from issue seven. Original artwork, the Damnation Waltz, apparently. Vampiros. And this one is Ariora. I can't even say his name. Raphael Aura Leon. And 1936-93 actually gives obviously the dates there, gives a lot of detail. Now, many of these artists, I would love to see actual proper books, real big, thick, chunky books of their artwork. There's something just amazing, absolutely amazing, all the way. Johnny Future, of course, there you've got the brilliant uh, Treasury of British Comics. They brought out the Johnny Future. That is also still relatively easy to get. Dossum City. Also, you've got lots of these ones. I love that one. Unknown Worlds of Science Fiction, Macabre Monsters, Nightmare, of course, some of those magazines. Well, Nightmare, that one, Skywalk. There's also here Jose Casanovas, as well as my favourite as well. I'm just going to flick through some of these. Oh, yeah, Star of Wonderland. That one is from Diane, that's DC Thompson. You've also got another one of the Valentine ones there, Pepe Gonzalez. Actually, I'm just reading through a wonderful artist edition of Pepe Gonzalez, Jose Pepe Gonzalez. Really impressive. And that's on Kindle Unlimited, as this book is also available on Kindle Unlimited for free. I'm not pushing any advertising for that, but I'm just mentioning it. Actually, that is a great service. There's lots and lots of brilliant. They just put Vampirella archives on, which I'm thoroughly enjoying for free. And so just reading through all those does also make you think, why did I buy these books sometimes? But why not? Creatures, Crypt of Creatures, that's a great one. Shutter Tales, the Lancio story. I quite often would see these in shops over in Spain. They're just brilliant. You did, certainly when I was living in the Canaries, there were loads of these great shops that you could sort of find and you'd find just piles and piles and piles of these books. And I wish I'd bought loads of them. I, I bought some, but not as many as I could have bought. Just also, I went to a really good exhibition when I went to Valentia. There was just, just walking along the street and then suddenly I thought, oh, what's over there? And it was like, just in the basement, there was this huge, huge exhibition of brilliant artwork, all this sort of thing. Just absolutely, all Warren, various, obviously, UK comics. I thought, wow, and there was no one in the room at all. Everyone was upstairs. I was thinking, am I supposed to be here? Is this room actually... <laughs> I don't know. I just wandered around, looked at it, took a few photos, and I thought, wow, this is just the best exhibition. So you can see just really, truly, and this one is, and who am I now? Oh, of course, it doesn't say. Always the way. Whoever it is, let's go on to the next page. 
and you've got some more examples there. But it's always great when you find those sort of things. And I wish we'd have some exhibitions like that over here in the UK. Just don't think that's ever going to happen. But I would uh, actually, when I went to this uh, brilliant exhibition of Francis of CC, they actually had a Marvel comic on the wall, stuck on the wall. <laughs> apparently, there was a comic, uh, Brother of the Universe. I'd never seen it before. Now, I looked for copies of it, apparently, all in the States, of course. Oh, this one. I've seen that one. June School Friend, Book of Heroines, 1970. Now, that's got... But it's really great when you see finally a comic book in the National Gallery. Maybe at some point they will do an exhibition of some of this brilliant artwork. It should be in the National. Victor Ramos. This one is a love letter. There's also another one, San Julian. My apologies for saying the name's completely wrong. Even though I lived in Spain, <laughs> my Spanish is terrible. It certainly is now anyway. Uh, Deadly Omen, Wicked Witch's Tales. That sounds good. Where's that one from? That's from uh, 1978, so you can see there. I think I've seen that one. Quite a few of these covers you often see in different places. You think, oh, I vaguely remember that one. You've seen on book covers, those sort of things. And Rambler. I remember that magazine, Rambler. So you've got a great bit of artwork there, and also many others. So you've got, this book is just full, page after page, as it says. It's got 500 illustrations. I mean, Wow. But a really, really good price, still, like I say, readily, readily available. And you've got here Trini Trinture, Tinture, so name there. And also Ramon Torrents. Just great. An absolutely brilliant book. This is Masters of Spanish Comic Book Art. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. I would love to see a volume two of this. Obviously, there's so many, many other artists that could be included in this sort of book, and I, I would love to see that, but... I suspect that's never going to happen. But I hope so. Maybe they will bring out more. Because Dynamite did bring out a lot. And I've got quite a few, well, 10 or 15, of these sort of lovely, chunky books they brought out. But they have really slowed down bringing them out. And so it would be nice to see some more. But this is a celebration of great artists, revolutionised American Homic Comics, as well as, of course, UK comics. I mean, UK comics, I mean, there were so many great artists all over the place. Quite often, comics that you... Fine, really struggle to find most cases. I mean, you could pick up the odd one, of course, but there's not that many. They just don't turn up at comic marts in the way that, of course, Marvel Comics and DC do. But you've got, and of course, my favourite, and of course, I've completely missed him, Esteban Morato. I love his work. He's in there as well. And, and I'm not going to even waste time search because I'll probably be going backwards and forwards trying to find him. But I really, really love his work. No, I'm not going to find him. But still, this. Is great. Masters of Spanish comic book art. Really, really recommended this book. If you're into any sort of like this artwork, this style, Warren, of course, this has got to be a great purchase. 